What's going on guys, today we're going to go over a complicated percent question from a calculator section. And the funny thing is, this question is actually meant to be solved without a calculator. When SAT designed this question, they wanted you to solve without it. But most people don't know that they end up using the calculator, going the long way and taking minutes to solve the question. Whereas if you go the right way, you can solve it within a matter of seconds. So as always, I'll show you how you can quickly solve this question and then explain what happened so you can apply to your next exam and solve them the fast way and get a higher score. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. Quick announcement before we start. You're about to see one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program only covers what's proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. Also, I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, let's get to the video. So the question says, Alma bought a laptop computer at a store that gave a 20% discount off of the original price. And the total amount she paid to the cashier was P dollars, including the 8% sales tax on the discounted price which the following represents the original price of the computer in terms of P. So what we're going to do is original times 0.8 for the discount and 8% tax. And that will give us the final price of P. And to find the original price, we're just going to isolate it. So 0.8, 1.08. And same thing on this side, 0.8, 1.08. And we recognize that they will cancel out. Original is equal to just P over 0.8 and 1.08. So that will be the original price. And the answer is going to be choice D. So that's how you solve it without a calculator, but let's go over exactly what happened for the past 10 seconds. So this question will be divided into two parts. First part is going to be right here, understanding the question. And second part is going to be doing the math. So as I read this question, I recognized that, oh, it's going to be a word problem. And when it comes to a word problem, you have to convert words into numbers. That's how you approach all the word problems. And to do that, you need to understand exactly what is going on in the question, recognize the important pieces. So let's recognize the important pieces. So the question we see that she bought a laptop from a store that gave her a 20% discount off the original price. That's going to be important. And the total amount that she paid to the cashier was known as P dollars. And that includes the 8% tax from the discounted price. That's also going to be important. So now that I have understood the question and identified the important pieces, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here and set up a equation by converting words into numbers. So let's start with the first part where it says she bought a computer at 20% discount off the original price. Do we know what the original price is? We don't, but don't freak out. We just call it original and she got a 20% off, right? So when she says she got 20% off, that means she was supposed to pay hundred percent, right? But she's paying 20% less. That means she's going to end up paying 80% of the original price, right? So how do we find 80% of the original price? You just do original times 0.8, which is the decimal version of 80%. And now let's go to the second part, which says she paid 8% sales tax on the discounted price, right? So where is the discounted price? It's going to be right here. That's the price after 20% off. And from here, she's going to have to pay additional 8% tax. Right? Additional meaning, let's say you, there's a discounted price of the laptop you have to pay for, right? But you're going to have to pay additional tax on top of it, which is going to be 8%. And because the discounted price represent the full amount that you're going to have to pay, it's going to be known as the 100%, which means at the end after tax, you're going to end up paying 108% of what you were supposed to pay originally, which is the price after the discount. So to find the final price, you're going to have to find 108% of the discounted price, and that will give you the final price. So what we do here is there's discounted price right there, and we find 108% by multiplying 1.08, and that gives us the final, final price that she ends up paying. And because the question is asking us for the original price, we're going to have to leave original alone, meaning we have to isolate original from this equation right here. And to do that, I divided both sides by 0.8 and 1.08 to cancel out 0.8, 1.08 and leave original alone, which gives you the final answer of this right here. And if you're wondering what this in terms of P means, that just means to have P inside of your answer somewhere. And that's why every single question has a P in it, because we have to find it in terms of P, which means to have P as part of your answer. So choice D is going to be the final answer, but here are two main takeaways from this question. So first, in order for you to solve it quickly, you're going to have to understand how percent works. 
For example, for you to solve quickly, you had to come up with this equation right here. And to do that, you have to come up with 0.8 and 1.08 based off of the question. And to do so, you're going to need a strong foundation on percents. For example, you want to know what 20% off means in terms of numbers and how taxes work in terms of percents. Without it, you won't be able to set up an equation and get the answer quickly. Now, the second main takeaway from this question is that every single question on the calc section is not meant to be solved with a calculator. I would say about 30% of the questions are meant to be solved without a calculator. And the question is going to take longer if you solve with it. And the more questions you solve the long way, the less time you will have for all the other questions, which leads to time issue, which leads to a lower score. And to solve all of these questions the fastest way possible, you have to have a strong concepts and foundations. And to solve all of these questions as quickly as possible, you have to have a strong foundation by mastering the concepts that show up on the SAT. So that's going to be it for this video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. You just saw one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program covers only what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, I'll see you in the next one.